Morning, folks. This is Forex One One G. I'm ready to just start the new event, uh, the Blighted Graveyard. <coughs> and I start off by giving you guys a good sneeze into the microphone. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Um, I'm back to my normal work schedule, so that allows me from my other the other place where I can play um, to play on Wednesday nights again. So. That also means um, that uh, I've played it a few times, so I've already gotten a couple of strategies down. Um, the big thing is, is these are not enemies. These are not some of the new enemies. The enemies in this new this new dungeon are enemies from the normal maps, uh, specifically the undead maps. Um, so any strategies you use to defeat those when they were a little tough when you're first going through uh, are the same strategies you want to use now. Um, so, anyhow, uh, now that being said, at level 60 plus, they are significantly, significantly tougher. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start out and get my, uh, Blighted Idol lockbox, free lockbox. I've already gotten uh, a few from earlier, earlier grabs. Um, so, oh, there. <laughs> uh, anyhow. We'll go ahead and go over some of the basics here. Uh, this is called the Blighted Graveyard Event. Um, you're getting uh, appearance items. Now, the helmet, the shoulders, the gloves, the crest, the, the um, cape, and the boots all can transfer across all your characters. So, you can use one character technically to get the majority of the items. Um, the offhand and the onhand are class specific so to get those you need to run with other characters um, right now my knight currently parents wise has um, that crown um, I can update the shoulders and everything else except for the the primary weapon so I'm looking for shoulders and primary weapon is what I'm looking for to finish out my knight once he's done um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my archer and then finally my wizard uh, throughout the week if it lasts, if it goes that long, um, I like this helmet. So if I get a helmet, it's going directly to the uh, thing. As you can see, I've got a helmet from an earlier event, which I think looks better with this suit of armor than the stand, the helmet from the last week's event. I was managed to get everything but a sword. I did get get a shield, but I don't run a sword and shield. I run sword sword. Very frustrating because I was kind of hoping to get at least one sword, if not pull off a dual sword. So, let's get into the event, shall we? Now, if you recall your first run-throughs when you were a really, really young, low-level character, which enemies were the most dangerous, those are the ones you want to go after um, first when you pop in, pop in here. Um, uh, so, I use angelic form, and in this case, I always start out with that like the baser. Um, the primary reason is is uh, the slowdown effect he's in cause. Using my angelic form, I keep myself alive. Then I go after any guys, uh, the skeletal knights, or anybody who uh, um, can call upon more characters to fight. And then finally, anybody else. As you may have noticed, I have um, actually. Um, added a couple skills. There's only one point in each of those, and those are almost primarily to help me out with faster gold runs, which I'll do another run tonight. This level, I go after this uh, Acolyte Prince real quick. Because um, he, he's he got that uh, one attack that really hurts. The, then the whirlwinds, it also don't help. Then I go after the Shroud Impaler, because he's the, uh, the enemy restorer of this group of enemies. You've actually got about five ways to do these. With the final way being the Skeleton King, um, him, he's not terrible. Um, same strategies as you did use before, you work on him. 
Okay, see, so this group, I've got a big boss, one of the bosses from the end of the I go after this guy who's real big. And there's also the Shroud Deathbringers, or Short Warlords and stuff. That's what call them. Dead stuff. I take out the I try to take out the warlords. His attacks actually uh, can knock you down and make you more vulnerable than anybody else. Then I go after the undead archmage. Okay, there's no um, enemy re yes there's, there's a skeleton. Take him out. But then I go after the Lord of the Undead. He's he's tough, but he actually he, he may in the original maps call people in, but he doesn't pull people in with this this room. Fourth wave. Um, I think I got an archmage. Or um, yeah, there he is. I got that guy and a debase at the same time. Uh, that apprentice is more dangerous. Then I go after the debaser. There's a skeleton knight. Hopefully, he get knocked out. When you Uh, Grendel the Man Crusher, your any uh, uh, attack that's that you can use to interrupt other attacks. Almost every one of his attacks are interruptible, so he's not that dangerous. So his attacks can knock you down. Okay, final wave. We're gonna have the Skeleton King. Now on this one, we have another Shroud Warlord, and. Um, of course, the Skeletal King himself. I go specifically after the Warlord first. The guy that, that calls the enemies down there, I don't worry too much about. Um, though I do try to get him. And then I work on the Skeletal King. Um, I do the Skeletal King specifically because... Because uh, if you don't, he'll revive those tomes that uh, keep dropping out more and more enemies. But once you kill him, then you can go after the bombs. Now I go after Sarko to Tom. I would say my job form has an emergency button now and for the point where I don't have to worry too much about it. So the enemies are just gonna start to just go away slowly, slowly. Some of the appearance items that you can get from this event are from previous events, the common ones specifically. Um, so, um, just bear that in mind. So if you've missed them in earlier events, you actually have a chance to get them now. The uncommon ones are ones you have not gotten, were not available previously before. So here we go. Alrighty, so these items down here were available previously in other events. These items up here are brand new to this event. I got the shoulders. I needed the shoulders. Okay, they look pretty cool. Actually, kind of look pretty good with that. Uh, with the rest of that type of stuff. Anyhow, I'm going to put those shoulders over here on my archer. Appearance. Let's see, does he look good with them on? No. <laughs> okay.